Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in now with the Director of Athletics at Ferris State University, Perk Weisenberger. And Perk, first of all, welcome welcome to the show. Rob, great to be here. Thanks for having me. I know a great start already to the fall season with some, some teams in the national rankings and a, a big weekend coming up here, a home opening weekend for the Bulldogs and, and plenty of events going on. Well, it's always good when your teams get off to a good start. and I give coaches and our student athletes a lot of credit, but with uh, three or four ranked teams already and a big weekend, we haven't ha had many home contests so far other than uh, I think some women's tennis and soccer and some cross country, but now we're going to have volleyball at home, we're going to have football at home, soccer's at home again, so it's going to be an exciting weekend and an exciting fall. I know uh, certainly home football games always bring plenty of excitement, energy uh, to the campus and the Ferris State University community. Well, as we've been out on the road, uh, Coach Anise talked about that, being on the road the last couple of weeks. We've heard from a lot of alumni. We've had, a, had good turnouts at both McKendree down in southern Illinois and and over in Midland against Northwood the other day. So we've got a lot of alumni that are talking about coming back and they're anxious to get back on campus for what will be a you know, pretty exciting September uh, and October. Certainly a, a busy fall here, but I know you had a busy summer as well. And we'll start off uh, with one of the big highlights, a, a new deal with Under Armour, and talk about what that means for, for the university and for the student athletes. I think that's an indication of our athletic department, our university, and the brand that, that we're building and continuing to grow as an institution and, and as an athletic department when you get a you get a brand like Under Armour interested, and of course we re-upped with Bauer, which is a specific hockey manufacturer, and uh, they were anxious to get the Bulldogs back into the fold, if you will, and Under Armour was anxious to become uh, an Under Armour, uh, have Fair State become an all-Under Armour school, and we're in that process of making that transition. Under Armour's really, a, a, I've got, uh, my wife and I've got two young kids, and that's all they like to really wear is Under Armour, so it, it works good within the university community. Our student athletes like it. It's going to help us down the road, and it's, uh, it's very good to be associated with another brand like that as we continue to build and brand ours. I know, uh, speaking of hockey, you mentioned hockey and a uh, big hockey fundraising campaign announced here uh, late this summer, the Be a Playmaker campaign. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly is going to bring a great deal and uh, mean a lot for the future of Bulldog hockey. Well, when, when we switched over from leagues and left the uh, CCHA into the WCHA, we knew we were going to have some increased costs with travel, et cetera, and it was the timing could not have been better coming off the Frozen Four uh, run in 2012. So we've got a very good committee together that made up uh, of Bulldog alums, former hockey players, and, and uh, people that are interested and want to see our program continue to grow and prosper. A lot of people have been working very hard. We've gotten through the uh, silent phase, if you will. Now we're into the uh, public phase of a $1.5 million campaign, and we're uh, edging in on uh, over $900,000 raised. And we're uh, looking forward to the challenge it's going to bring here um, this coming fall and winter. But no better time to raise money for hockey than during hockey season. So we're excited about the beginning of the hockey season and extremely excited about the Be a Playmaker campaign. I know, certainly, uh, speaking of fundraising, uh, at applies to the other sports as well and some record numbers for some of the golf outings this summer as teams continue to, to build that support. Well, I give, again, a lot of credit to our student athletes and our coaching staffs that work very hard at some of the external events that, they're, uh, that they need to do to continue to grow their program and create friends of their program and create fundraising opportunities. And we've got some coaches, uh, some new coaches that have really picked up on it and have taken, uh, taken to it very well. And our alumni support comes back. A lot of family and friends, but certainly a lot of alumni support. Hockey golf outing has uh, really been uh, the highlight over the past several years. Uh, but football golf outing has gone well. Softball had an outstanding golf outing. Men's basketball continues to put a good one together. And our golf programs do one as well. So they're always well received. And our, our alumni and the people associated with the event and our sponsors and the people who help us out uh, really seem to get a kick out of it. And they were very successful, all of them this year. I know many of those alumni are most likely to be back this weekend for the Grand Valley State game, but uh, certainly in a couple weeks with homecoming coming up and a, a big day for the Bulldogs. Not only do you have the homecoming game, you've got the, the opening of the Bulldog hockey season with Michigan coming to town. Yeah, well, I, first things first, I'm going to... I think I may have to go down to the ticket office and get some more tickets for the Grand Valley game to request it, but I'm, I'm going to have to start letting people buy them for right now. But we're getting a lot of interest in the Grand Valley weekend for football, and, uh, and we're playing them in soccer, and we're playing them in volleyball as well. Um, and then, of course, homecoming is October 4th, and homecoming is always a special time for the community in Big Rapids and for the university. Uh, we play Finley that day in, uh, uh, in football, and we've got soccer going on, I think, in the morning, volleyball in the afternoon, and then, of course, we do open up the hockey season uh, at 737 on that night, Saturday, October 4th, against the, the Maize and Blue of the University of Michigan. That'll be a special time for us as well. I know uh, you've been here at Ferris State now four years or so, and uh, talk about the progress that's been made and, and what, the, what the big highlights have been for you uh, here over your tenure. 
Well, I think it's really the uh, the coaches taking advantage of what uh, were the positive things to sell about this institution because you get a young people, you want to attract them to come here. Obviously, they're going to come here and have a good academic experience. They're going to have a good athletic experience. They're certainly going to grow with friendships and lifelong memories and, and certainly grow on the social side uh, as well. So I think Fair State offers an awful lot, and our coaches have done a very good job of packaging and selling that and, and, be, and getting out and recruiting the type of student athletes that, one, want to be a part of this university and want to be a part of our championship-driven uh, environment and uh, our focus. Um, and, you know, we've got a lot of challenges as well, but uh, primarily it starts with the, with the university, our admissions office, our cooperation we get uh, across campus with admissions, with eligibility, with financial aid, uh, and of course the expansion that's gone on on campus, you know, with the new buildings that have been built, uh, the university center that's going to open up in January. Everyone is excited about how our new university center is going to be. Probably no one's more excited than, our, than the students themselves, but our coaches are chomping at the bit to be able to, uh, uh, to recruit to some, you know, brand new shiny facilities, and it, it always makes for a uh, a good sell and a good opportunity and, and we're conveniently located. It's a great institution. We offer a lot of majors. So why wouldn't somebody want to come here and be a Bulldog? I know uh, certainly uh, the student support has been a, a big key uh, when you talk about Bulldog <coughs> hockey and the environment it creates at the Ava Glavin Ice Arena. Uh, talk about how, how some of those trends have changed and how, mm -hmm. how, how you connect with students now through social media and some of those other avenues. Well, I uh, probably ask you that question because it's your outfit, your group, you and Dom and uh, John Coles and a lot of students that help us on the social media side. Uh, the marketing and um, branding of, of what we do with our student crowds and the student energy, and that's one thing at the schools that I've been, students always bring the energy into the building, the arena, the stadium, uh, and so we like to have as many students in attendance and we like to be able to market it and have fun with it so that the kids know that they have a great experience when they can come to an athletic event. And our dog pound for hockey specifically continues to grow. I would imagine we're going to see a pretty, pretty big dog pound for the football game this weekend. I think we also have uh, uh, the hockey team uh, doing a uh, uh, skate with the Bulldogs with the dog pound, the hockey student group, this weekend. But then all those uh, fans are going to go over to the volleyball game and watch the volleyball game with the hockey team. Uh, and be a part of that. And I think the hockey team's also doing a meet and greet out at the soccer game this weekend too. So hockey and all sports support each other and uh, the students, uh, students bring the energy and you know it's always good and fun to support and easier to support a winner. We're just hoping we can keep, uh, keep the victories piling up and we can continue to move forward. But uh, we've done a very good job of marketing our program and, it's, and certainly the dog pound and we need the students uh, energy and we need the students support. Tony mentioned it too. He knows the community will be out and we hope the students will come out and support the Bulldogs in all of our sports. Well, Burke, thanks for uh, taking time being with us here today and uh, certainly looking forward to a, a big weekend for the Bulldogs. We are too. Thanks. Keep up the good work, Rob. Thank you. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.